Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to the 24th edition of Social, Social Distance, Distance Tacoma. Tacoma. Today is Monday, February 22nd. Our top story today, calling all short story writers, poets, songwriters, essayists, and visual artists. DPMS's literary magazine is now accepting submissions for this year's issue of Inkblot. Added bonus, this year's issue will also be available digitally, so you'll be able to see your published work even during these corona times. The deadline for submissions is February 26th, but the earlier you submit your work, the more likely it is to be published. Submit your work at https colon slash slash sites.google.com slash mcpsmd.net slash inkblot dash submissions. The link is also available in your Canvas classroom. Email any questions to misseaton at jennifer.m.eaton at mcbsmd.net. And now, a word from a very old sponsor of ours. Hey ho, everybody. My name is L. Dad Wilson. I'm Mr. Wilson's long lost brother. I'm here to introduce this week's sponsor. As Jake just said, it's an olden. It's an olden. It's the, one of the very first. Production from Tacoma Park Middle School, way back before they even had talkies. So, enjoy! April 22nd, 1915. The world is at war. In a battle against French forces, the Germans unleash a new type of weapon. Poison gas. Chemical warfare begins. The Germans enjoy a great deal of success the first year using gas, killing, injuring, and blinding thousands of soldiers. 
particularly effective is the use of mustard gas, which causes blisters, blindness, vomiting, internal bleeding, and worse. Nurses tending to gas victims are appalled at the intense suffering the soldiers undergo. Gas becomes the soldiers' biggest fear, and for a while, the Allies' biggest concern. Around the same time, another new discovery was gaining popularity, the automobile. While not as deadly nor purely destructive as poison gas, the introduction of many automobiles into mostly horse-drawn traffic, especially in big cities, caused a great many accidents, resulting in thousands of fatalities and injuries. Police directing traffic worked well, but was too expensive and labor-intensive to use at all busy intersections. Cities tried various forms of traffic control, including mid-intersection towers and semaphore signals, but none proved successful. Chaos ruled the day in busy city streets, with accidents, injuries, and fatalities growing monthly. What do these two problems have to do with each other, much less African American History Month? They were both solved by the same man, Garrett Morgan. Morgan was born in Kentucky on March 4, 1887, the seventh in a family of 11. Upon turning 14, he decided to move on his own to Ohio, where he believed he would receive a better education. Having a natural inquisitive nature, he learned how sewing machines work by taking them apart and putting them back together. He soon became a successful businessman, running a shop selling and repairing sewing machines. In 1912, after several other minor but financially successful inventions, Morgan came up with what he called a safety hood and had it patented as a breathing device. His intention was to have it used by firemen, engineers, and chemists who otherwise might encounter dangerous smoke or fumes. Morgan himself was one of the first to use the device when a tunnel being dug under Lake Erie in Cleveland collapsed, trapping 32 workers and filling with smoke, dust, and poisonous fumes. Someone at the scene remembered Morgan and his invention, and after being called to the scene, Garrett and his brother were able to rescue 18 of the trapped workers. The hood, which became known to the world as the gas mask, was to become an invaluable tool for firefighters and other workers worldwide, but it also played a great role in World War I, where it became the chief form of combating the use of gas warfare. Morgan's invention saved countless thousands of lives and continues to do so to this day. His inventions had made him a wealthy man, but this didn't stop him from continuing to think of ways to solve other safety problems. After witnessing a tragic accident involving an automobile and a horse and carriage, Morgan invented the first automatic traffic signal. His device, used first in Cleveland, became the standard across the nation, and today's modern traffic light is based upon his original design. After these signals became common, traffic fatalities decreased significantly and traffic became much safer. Again, it is safe to say that Morgan's invention saved countless thousands of lives. It is men and women like Garrett Morgan whom we should honor during African American History Month. The unsung heroes of the American story who have contributed to society in large ways, yet are largely unrecognized by the American public. People like Garrett Morgan, whose name we might not have heard, but whose actions, ideas, and inventions have benefited, inspired, and affected each and every one of us. Welcome back! Valentine's Day may be over, but we're still complimenting our fellow Blue Devils. That's right, the Valentine's Day Padlets are still open. Just go to the link, enter the password Valentine with a capital V, and write a nice compliment. Make sure to make them school appropriate. The links are https colon slash slash padlet dot com slash one eight two four seven nine underscore era slash tpmsv six for sixth grade. Replace the 6 with a 7 for 7th grade. 
and replace the 7 with the 8 for 8th grade. Remember that the password is Valentine with a capital V. Again, the password is Valentine with a capital V. We hope to see your compliments on the Padlet. Now for a mindfulness minute. Please take this time to close your eyes, try to clear your mind, and concentrate on your breathing. That certainly was calming. Well, that's our show. Please watch the CSI students end credit slide at the end of our show. Watch the names for your peers, your friends, and hopefully your own name. This has been Jake. And Zai. And Ira. Join us next Monday as we continue to... Social, Social Distance, distance Tacoma. Tacoma. Star Wars came out in like the 70s as full audio, full color, and plus there's music in the background. How would you get that and not have dialogue? Of course, none of you could know a single thing that I'm saying. He could not give the clip context, or heck, he could probably just not do it at all, but eh, I might as well do this. I'll look like a crazy person if you don't put this, if you don't put the thing on the sponsor, but... Uh, I'll take the risk. Cut. Okay. That was something.